Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Darren and this is Darren's Corner. I'm making the first video of the year 2021 and I just want to start by saying how amazing you guys are and I just want to wish you all a happy new year. Thank you all so much for an amazing 2020. Without you, there will be no Darren's Corner. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make yogurt with an instant pot we all have an instant pot in our house but i doubt if most of us have used it or checked the recipe within the instant pot to see how to make yogurt in it but before we go into this video if this is your first time here please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please click on, click on the bell sign so you get notified when i have new videos up so let's get into the list of ingredients So this recipe is actually from the instant pot recipe book so if you have an instant pot check your recipe book you would see this recipe in it so the first thing will be to pour your milk into the instant pot i'm using full milk in this instance you can actually use a skim milk if you want so i'm going to set my instant pot to the yogurt button and i'm going to tune this till i get to the boil position and i'm going to be boiling my milk once the ball is concluded, it's going to show you the program yogurt. And that is when your boiling is concluded. So once your boiling is concluded, just gently open your instant pot. You don't need to put it under pressure when you're boiling. And then you just put it inside um, the cold water from the tap. And you leave this for roughly about... 40 to 60 minutes um, while that is cooling off um, I'm gonna be taking my yogurt I'm using the full um, yogurt and I'm just taking about um, a cup of that yogurt and I'm mixing it with my maple syrup um, you can use honey if you want or you can use any other sweetener that you prefer or you can actually skip adding any sweetener to it so once i mix that i'm going to be pouring that into my cooled um, yogurt and i'm going to mix this so the the yogurt is meant to be like a starter for the yogurt you want to ferment because it's actually a fermentation process right and then um, you put it back into the instant pot you cover the lid you don't need to put any form of pressure on just leave the vents um, as it is and then you click on your yogurt button again and you toggle the button till you get to the eight hour uh, mark um, if you want it to extend for longer than eight hours then if you want the fermentation process to, to extend longer then you're free to do that um, so I'm just going to check on my yogurt after about four hours into the fermentation process and you can see that the thickness of the yogurt has changed um, the fermentation process has, has already started but I just want this to um, conclude within that eight hours I'm just going to continue to ferment it I'm going to close the lid and while that is fermenting I'm going to be um, making my toppings so for the toppings for this yogurt, I'm using cranberry and I've just boiled the cranberry and I've added some maple syrup to make the cranberry compost. And I'm just going to make that, mix that well. And this is ready um, to be used as a topping after it's properly uh, mashed and um, if they do, once the jam properly forms. So that's it for the cranberry um, compost jam topping. And then the next topping I'm going to be making will be my persimmon. Persimmon is actually um, a fruit that I featured on my Instagram page. So you can go to my Instagram page to learn more about persimmon. Um, but you can use any other fruit you want. But it tastes between um, a mango and a papaya or papaya. So I'm just going to make... Um, in form of a little bit of jam just to make as um, a topping for my yogurt um, with this persimmon so I'm doing exactly the same thing I did for the for the cranberry I'm just not adding the maple syrup into this because persimmon is kind of sugary on its own and then I'm gonna be checking on my instant my ferment fermentation process on my instant pot and this is the eight hour mark 
um, is concluded and this is my yogurt so you can see that the yogurt there's a little bit of water at the surface so it's just strain that out a little bit and my yogurt is ready to go and it is properly formed this process is so easy and um you all should try this because it's, it's just that easy process and it will save you a lot of money um than buying you know yogurt from outside all you need is the starter yogurt and you can use any any form of plain yogurt like a greek yogurt as a starter and that's it guys my yogurt is all done and next thing will be now to to put them in a storage jar um, so I'm going to be adding, making different types of flavors for my yogurt. So the first one, I'm going to be adding my cranberry jam um, to give it that cranberry flavor. And um, of course, you have to do this once after um, your yogurt is cooled because immediately you take it out, out of the fermentation process, take it out a little bit, let it cool down, and then you can begin to um, put it in the jar. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm doing three different flavors. The first one is the cranberry flavor. The second one is the persimmon um, flavor. That I'm gonna be using that persimmon um, jam. And then the last one, I'm just making a vanilla flavor. So I'm gonna be adding some granola um, on top of that. And so that's what I'm doing now. I'm just adding some persimmon um, to that. See how creamy this looks? I kid you not, it's actually very, very tasty, better than the store bought one. So, I've just added some maple syrup to this, and I'm adding a little bit of vanilla extract uh, to give it that vanilla flavor. And then I'm gonna be topping up with um, granola. So, that's the third flavor that I've made out of my yogurt. And that's it, guys. Your yogurt is ready and you can just put it in the refrigerator and allow it to cool um, for nothing less than four hours and thereafter you can have your yogurt and enjoy that so that's the finished product of my yogurt and it's all the lid is all intact and i'm going to be placing this in my refrigerator so that's it my three flavors um, of my yogurt. Um, I also have a plain one, which I just I didn't add any of the toppings or the granola to it. And this is a parfait made out of my yogurt. You can see how properly this is layered. So guys, that's the end of my video tutorial. I hope you're gonna go ahead and make use of your Instagram pot now and make your yogurt from it. And when you do that, just let me know um how um you like it and drop me a comment in the comment section bon appetit and have a lovely great 2021 filled with all your heart's desires bye